This is a bold step forward for our Sims as they come to life like never before in The Sims 4. The Sims 4 combines revolutionary Sims with powerful creative tools and all new emotion-based gameplay to reinvent The Sims experience. We chose to reveal The Sims 4 for the very first time here at Gamescom because many of our most passionate fans live right here in Europe. Some of our most prolific storytellers and creators from 14 countries have joined us here in the audience today. Hi, guys! Still, still! We may come from different cultures, but we all share one common language, Simlish. Built on a foundation of new technologies that we call Smart Sim. The Sims 4 gives you the power to create and control an entirely new generation of Sims. We've really put the focus on the Sims themselves. Our Sims have evolved into intelligent, emotionally aware beings whose every action is informed and affected by their emotional states. From angry to flirty, from sad to happy, you can now you can now explore the gamut of human emotions all within The Sims 4. New creative tools, emotions, and dynamic gameplay give our players the ability to affect the mind, body, and heart of these new Sims, bringing their stories to life in a way that's more meaningful and more personal than ever before. Now, when I play The Sims 4, I like to think of myself as the director of a play. And as the director, my first act is to envision the stage where the story unfolds. In The Sims 4, we've reinvented our creative tools to be intuitive, powerful, and flexible. It's easier and faster for me to create exactly the home that I want. So let's look at how I've built this house. I placed my rooms. I've pushed and pulled them to my specifications. And I can even place down a fully decorated room in an instant. It's like ripping a page from a magazine. I've never been able to do these things before in The Sims, and it's fun. So I've built my set, and now it's time to cast my actors. With our new Create a Sim, I can reach directly into the game and sculpt my Sims by hand. It's just like, like being an artist. I click right on their faces and bodies. It's like playing with clay. And it's more than just looks. I can even set their walk styles to match their personalities. So now that you've seen our new creative tools, let me show you how playing with these new Sims and their emotions, which for the first time you control, will fundamentally change the experience that you have in The Sims 4. Let's take a look at a scene I've been working on. I'm a romantic at heart, so when I play The Sims 4, there's usually a good love triangle. But, um, always with a bit of a twist. I've set up a party, and I have two cute guys competing for Sophia's affection. Things are going well for Ollie, and I've got him feeling confident, but I'm gonna make him earn this one. Andre, he's bored, so I'm gonna get him to sabotage Ollie's attempts to woo Sophia. Now, Ollie's always been a sensitive soul, and I'm making Andre play a sad song on the violin that I know will drive Ollie into a state of depression. Now, with Ollie out of the way, I'll have Andre try to put the moves on Sophia. Oh, poor Ollie. Just seeing that quivering lip makes me want to cheer him up. And a little bit of Sims magic ought to do the trick. By having Ollie use this voodoo doll, I've made Andre instantly furious. And a furious Sim can't flirt. So Sophia's losing interest fast. Now, I want to stop here for a second. 
In The Sims 4, emotions influence the gameplay, not just in this moment, but down the line. And all have different options the next time they meet. Now, I'm gonna help Andre to blow off some steam and reduce his fury by going a few rounds with the punching bag. I'm not sure who's winning that fight. So let's get back to Ollie and Sophia. The decor that I chose has an effect on my Sims emotions, and I've built this house to be a little flirty. Check out this hottie on the rocket. That's a little suggestive. As Sophia and Ollie view this fine artwork, it begins to have an effect on their feelings. Moving from flirty to passionate has given me new interaction options. So I'm gonna send them outside to get to know each other a little bit better. There's that rocket again. And these two lovers have found the perfect place to take their relationship to the next level. Have fun, you two. The way that I've decorated my house, the objects that I've used, the choices that I've made all affect the range of emotions that I've taken my Sims through. I've never been able to do that in a Sims game before. I could have really changed how this night played out. I could have made Ollie channel his sadness into creating a masterpiece, leaving the field clear for Andre. Or I could have even made Sophia reject them both to pursue her dream of being an astronaut. Now, we can't wait for our fans and friends here at Gamescom to be the first to play The Sims 4. We'll be featuring a new sim in the game created by a player this week here in Germany. It could even be yours. And for our fans around the world who can't be here with us at Gamescom, check out our brand new website for more information. You can even pre-order the game today. The Sims 4 is the next generation of great Sims games where your Sims come to life. And I'll see you all at Gamescom. Thank you. <laughs>